and I am here to give you a demonstration on the donning and doffing of uh, uh, Sterling uh, Protective Wear uh, CBU 600 by uh, Confident Dental Equipment. Uh, so without uh, much ado, let us start off. Just make sure that you remove all your personal belongings uh, and take a nice uh, hand wash. You just make sure that you pat dry yourself but absolutely dry. And once you have made sure you are dry, we sanitize ourselves with the 75 or 80 percent uh, alcohol just to make sure that you have the best hygiene practices. And uh, once this is dry, what I do is I immediately wear uh, non-surgical gloves. Again, for hygienic reasons, to make sure that the reusable gowns do not get dirty and the hygiene of the gowns are uh, maintained well. The CDU 600 uh, comes uh, as a gown with uh, two leg protections and eyewear and uh, a mouth mask uh, and uh, other paraphernalia. So let's start uh, uh, removing the material and I can show you something more about the uh, technical aspects of the product. You can see here that uh, the PPE gown is a full sleeve gown. You can also see that there is a, a hot sealing or a medical duct tape that has been uh, lined to make sure that there is no percolation of any of the splash or the infected liquid onto the inner surface. You can see that it is all the complete uh, uh, needle holes that are created uh, during the stitching of the fabric are completely sealed with this heat sealed uh, tape. It also comes in with a zip and I will start showing you how to Right at the edge of this, you can see this elastic which is then fitted onto the, uh, onto the foot just to make sure that it doesn't get pulled up. Zip it up. Where the foot make sure you release the tape here and then put it on the surface. Okay. This also comes in with an elastic, so the elastic is on the middle finger. Just to make sure that this is stable. What I do is I wear the leg protection on the left, leg protection on the right and now I am already all set to go into the next uh, procedure. So once we finished off with the, the major part of the wearing the gown and the feet cover, we use the second pair of the glove because next we are going to don the N95 mask. N95 mask and anything around the face area is a very very sensitive area. So also make sure that this is completely covered. There you are. At this stage I sanitize myself again. Rub my hands. And then going to down the N95. Just make sure that the clip is pressed and there is no leakage of any air around. Blow a couple of times and just make sure that this uh, soft tissue fit is absolutely perfect. Next thing that we will do is we are going to wear the safety goggles. 
we are all set to treat the patient. I just sanitize myself just once again before I charge and before I sit on the chair. Once that done, we are all ready now to doff or remove the PPE gauge. Before doffing, what we suggest to you here is you ask your assistant to disinfect the PPE kit uh, with uh, alcohol spray or any other suitable disinfectant. What we use here is uh, the Surfacept disinfectant by uh, Septodon. It contains 75% uh, uh, alcohol and that's what I'm going to ask my assistant uh, to do now. Not all ready for uh, doffing. The first thing that I remove is the outer glove. The inner glove is now untouched, so it is hygienic. So the first thing that I remove is my mask. I just make sure that I do not touch any surface. The N95 then goes into a paper bag. The next thing that we are going to doff is the head cover, the glasses go into the dustbin, unzip, remove the shoe cover. Make sure you zip it back and then hang it on. The suit is now aired for about uh, 9 hours in a well ventilated area, preferably under bright sunlight, so that it can be then so that we can proceed to the next procedure of disinfecting the coat. What we are trying to do uh, here is uh, we are actually making use of of the uh, CDC or the WHO guidelines for reuse uh, of uh, N95 masks. So we are using the same idea in reusing this uh, uh, CDU 600 uh, uh, PPE kits so that they are not thrown into the trash, it goes a waste, it can be recycled and reused for at least uh, five times. That's what CDC has suggested as, as far as the N95 masks are concerned. They say have uh, five masks which is used on the first day and then you put it in the, the brown cover, five brown covers. You, you, you sterilize you uh, sterilize the first, uh, first one and then come back on the fifth day and use the first one again. So our idea also is the same here that any dentist or any user has five sets of this CDU 600 uh, PPE kits and uh, reuse them and recycle them for, uh, for a week uh, and use uh, them over uh, a number of times. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, there might be multiple users of uh, this particular wardrobe, so I'm going to just take, cut a small medical tape and I'm going to name it as a Sunil here. So that uh, the person who is using it next knows. So I just put the tape here on top. Just name it as Sunil so that the person knows that it is mine. Put it in here. You can see here that I have uh, stuck a few clips or uh, double sided clips 
where I can hang in something else so that I can maximize the use of uh, the UV wardrobe and not just to keep it, uh, keep the PPE kits. Now you can see that I'm doing the same thing with my, I'm not touching the inner surface of the N95. I'm just making sure I take the N95 and hang it out here so that overnight it is. I do the same thing with the kit and here and I could even hang it out here. You know, so multiple things can be actually stored overnight so that you do not waste the power because these uh, uh, tubes come with uh, a life uh, normally a Philips uh, uh, UV uh, germicidal lamp has a 9000 hour life so we, we do not want to waste it so we want to maximize it and that's exactly what we are doing you can put multiple things in you could put your mask or any other equipment also and then close it just make sure it's really tight and then I switch on when I switch on you see that the light is on uh, keep it overnight and come back the next day and uh, switch it off and use the so this is what has been done to maximize the use of the uh, of the PPE uh, for a better uh, utility and also just to make sure that we do not discard the PPEs, PPEs and create a hazard for the environment so this is what is the idea of uh, reusing the PPEs Thank you very much for uh, patient uh, hearing, really appreciate it.